that's happening. Um, now let's see. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? I can't wait to see what this looks like with using barriers for our infinity pool. I just looked up how to do that again, and you hit the slash key, and then you say, give yourself barrier, and then you can just see it in your equipment here. I was having a little trouble because I had this tray was completely full. Uh, so it wasn't sticking the barrier in here and I was searching in here and it's not there. It just puts it straight in here. Which is fine. I don't mind the, you know, wood slab. Maybe that's cooler than, you know, how they, it's typically like a X, you know, or whatever you call that symbol. That might be even worse. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm thankful for this weird way that they do this. See, look, isn't that weird? <laughs> okay. I have my coffee here. The air conditioner feels good. So thankful for that. Okay, so we did that wall. Then I think we just fill in the bottom and the sides like that. And then like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got a few guides here. Thanks for doing that last time. So you can just hardly see that. Oh, uh, you know, it does this sometimes. It does these dark ones. Remember that when we did the um, how to build a lava sphere? By the way, if you haven't seen that one or built your own lava sphere, you're missing out. And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, to how far? I think I want to. That's inside. You know, I just had an inch. Oh, what am I doing? There's not.
I just had an interesting thought. We may want the barrier on the sides out one more uh, because, for example, it would be cool if this block were glass, I mean water. So we should really do the barrier like that, you know, but let's just do this, you know, for now. how we're going to do it, see how it looks, and make a change, make that change if we want to. This is one of those weird times where it's like, why can't I put a block there? I just never get over how cool this game is. Now, is that? Okay, I think that's right. And they're always making, like, I, I can never keep up with all the improvements. And now you can download something on the Windows Store, like, which is the Java. It's got Java and um, the Bedrock version together, and you can swap between them. I've never played, you know, I may have played the Java version um once a long time ago you know like downloaded it um okay i think that's it very cool okay now let's do the pull down here so this is pretty simple. It's just three deep. Oh, but it's got this, which is kind of interesting, but it's just, you know, like flat there. It should be real easy. So now I want to check that out. You know, the, the Java version, because I've heard there's things you can do you can't do with bedrock I wonder if they're gonna unite them one day I I don't really understand why there's there's two can somebody explain that to me I mean I get that like um, in some ways it has to do with compatibility with the other, you know, like Xbox, PlayStation, all, all the different platforms you can play Minecraft on. And I think, I think the Bedrock version is the one you can play with the others. You know, look how cool that is, how it orient, always orientates towards you. 
Okay, let's keep going. Now we've got these troughs here. Did we decide to do the troughs in yeah stone? So those are in stone. Oh, but we need to do like this, right? It's gonna be kind of tricky. RTX just vanilla I don't know if that's the right word for it just the default version so you can play to start a world that's either blank you know with the vanilla version or you know creative or survival and just play it in RTX and I don't I don't know what the issue is there it just seems like that would be really easy to set up. Okay, so now we've got this pool. All oh, right, and we're gonna leave this. Um, so let's go inside and see how we did that. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so it's three wide. And then there's three blocks between each fountain. Except the first one. Oh, well, they're right there by the... So let's just go like this. You know, I'm just going to fill... I'm gonna fill it in and then come back and make the holes. This is fun. This is gonna be really cool. We're, we're gonna get a, a big payoff with the cool factor on this one. The wow factor. Is that what you go for? <laughs> is that why you're here? I got some good ideas for um, Mindful Minecraft merch. I'm even thinking of a fountain, which is a, a great idea because I love water so much. Oops. And water and mindfulness go hand in hand. Whoops. Okay, I think we're ready because that's going to catch it and it's going to go down there. Oh, you know what? We're not quite ready because um, we need to fill in the pool. Uh, you know how we do it so that the entire pool is full and 
we need a temporary um, floor in which to and that's gonna go right there uh, do we need it anywhere else this is just one deep so it's not gonna matter look how cool that is okay and then um, let's take a what do you what do you call that a screenshot it's kind of interesting isn't it don't you think Maybe that'll appeal and I'll get more views, <laughs> sell more merch, and then I can retire and only play Minecraft. Okay, let's use the glass here. See, this is where it gets, it's like, now I can't see what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure that's right. Isn't this weird? So weird. This is going to be cool. I'm just believing that. You know what the bad news is, if you will, if this is cool, well, whether or not it's cool, we've got to make both sides look the same. So we're either going to take all this out and put glass in, or we're going to take the glass out on the other side and put barriers in. <laughs> now I think... Yeah, oop! I hope I didn't destroy a barrier there. I don't think I did. So this one... is Maybe it's not even necessary. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, actually... Because it goes... I think, I think I do need a barrier on this, right? It's just, it's just one deep, but I, I need a barrier. I mean a false bottom. <sighs> Avoiding these barriers is tricky, okay. So I think... Oh, right. Um, it goes here. Right? Yeah. About the temple overall, I, I'm still not loving the exterior. Yeah, so that's where the it stops. Let's take a, a quick look at the exterior. You know, it's cool. We, we need some work up here, obviously. Need to see how these pools work out. Well, we'll just see. I think we'll get there. Okay, now for the moment of truth. I'm nervous. Are you nervous about this? Oh, no. 
That's not right. Already got a mistake. Just seems like let's make it stop. That's good. <laughs> okay. Let's make the water stop. Does it leak through the barriers? That's going to be a disaster. I, I don't think it does because the lava doesn't leak. I just had to stop the leaking. Now let's take another look. You know what I want to do actually? I want to fill this in. Now this should be watertight, right? Let's go make sure from above. There is three going all the way across. So now let's try putting some water in. And let's go see if there's any leaking. No, there's not. And it's very cool. Look at that water effect there. Oh, is it leaking? It looks like it's dripping. I don't mind drips. Okay. It's so hard to navigate around here with these. Now, why is that? Oh, you know what? I think is happening. I am placing water. You can put a water directly on a barrier. And we need to be careful to put it on Let's actually start over here Got 
glad we're learning this on this top pool where it's not as big a deal. So what we need to do is attach the water to stone, not a barrier. You know what I'm saying? Sure you do. It's so weird, isn't it? going to attach the water to this brick see how I'm attaching it to the side of the brick not actually cool how it's kind of descending like that. Not attaching it to the barrier. So we should have a controlled, beautiful flow now. Oh, but we need to actually put, <laughs> break the barrier. transparent uh, Hanson's asking me a question on the um, we 
chat, let me reply to them. Let me ask him if I can have 10, 10 more minutes with you. Because I think we can finish this in 10 minutes. Go. <laughs> Uh, so what's happening here is we're running out of water before it's dripping down. Oh, or is it? Do I have a barrier here that needs to? Yeah, that's it. I was, um, I shifted. Okay, so that's very cool. And now here we can put, we can attach the we don't have to worry about attaching directly to the barrier because we have this false wall. Oh, I mean, let's get the water bucket out. It's best just to fill this in. Because you need it. What's going on with my mouse? I, I swear I'm pushing the button. So there's no movement of the water. You can experiment with with that, but um, okay. Let's look at this before I start blabbing. Now is it coming down? Oh, that's the false. Okay, so. Yeah, we need to put more here and stop, stop the movement of the water. I was saying you can experiment with that, but it can get really frustrating if you're if you're trying to make the flow of water perfect. Carefully. again because <sighs> you know how it is working with water <laughs> if you know you know and barriers it's like the two 
trickiest materials in all of Minecraft. You know, maybe lava's up there too because it's also opaque. What a nightmare. But I'll say this, this is much harder and more stressful than the lava sphere. I think because the lava sphere was very clear. Um, you know what? I also think I kind of got lucky <laughs> with the lava sphere. But it had a really clear structure um, of the sphere before we filled it in with lava. And this is kind of a new, you know, we're just experimenting with this. These pools, all, each pool is utterly unique. Now this is going to open it up so it's going to be flowing down. So this is even more stressful. It's at least looking good from the top. See, I just whiffed it there and I could have broken a barrier. It's not necessarily like the end of the world, but it just seems like there's enough potential problems already without me breaking unnecessary, unnecessary barriers. Okay, now I think that this is the last row of glass, right? There I'd go again, be careful. Huge leaks. It doesn't look like. I think it's working. Are they? Is the water coming down properly here? It looks like it. Oh, but I didn't prepare the base, so that's annoying, so there's water going everywhere, but it looks, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do here, it's just so invisible, isn't it, what do we think about that? I think this is very cool. All that. This is so transparent. And see, so like that's just kind of st sticking out there. That was that point I was making about the barrier might ought to be out one block further. You know, like the water should be at this level. I'm gonna have to sleep on this. Do we feel like that's any cooler? And I don't have a clear answer for that. Just looking at it from here, that looks that looks cool to me. Um, but it is just weird. Like, what is this? I can't even see the bottom of the pool. 
and say you're a guest here at the temple. Well, you can see, it looks fine from above, doesn't it? I was going to say, like, say you're swimming in this pool. And that's kind of cool and fun. But yeah, from, from the bottom. Oh, now look at that. That's, that's a mistake. Let me go correct that. And then um, I've got to go help Hansen. It looks like somehow we're missing. <laughs> 